Ahoy, this is Ustenka. Does this sound familiar to you? So, you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, but it's not happening as fast as you would like to. You need to pay bills. So you get stressed because this is not making enough money for you yet and you cannot invest enough time in this yet because you have to spend time with the other job to pay the bills. And on top of it, everybody keeps telling you that you should be creating multiple revenue streams, but you don't really know how to go about it. You don't really know how to start. You get super excited when one of your videos does very well and then right after you get depressed when the next video doesn't do well at all. So you get these creative blocks and you don't know what videos to make. You go back and forth. You even try to copy some of the most popular videos on other channels. And then you get depressed again when you find out that those videos you just copied doesn't perform well for you because they are not right for your audience. Let's have one-on-one -on -one talk. An open, honest talk. I've been on this platform for a number of years and I don't mind sharing how I do things around here, everything from planning to what videos make sense to make and what videos is just waste of time in 2022. I think some of the stuff we will find quite interesting. This video is sponsored by Zyro. The reason I opened up a YouTube channel a few years ago was to create a full-time job. I didn't seek for popularity or the star status. I wanted to build a business. A few weeks ago, I looked at several big channels, bigger channels, and I compared them against each other. And I compared those channels against mine as well. Roughly 15 channels. I wanted to know in 2022, what type of content brings in the most ad revenue and the most new subscribers. And that would have to be all long term. I was very surprised to see that the bigger channels, the well-known channels with vlog style content, and it's all around the tech word and photography and video, are not nearly making as much ad revenue anymore and they are not growing nearly as fast anymore compared to the channels of the same size or even smaller which are straight to the point, they give out a lot of information and they have a lot of evergreen content. So that was one thing I looked at. And then I went to my own channel and I looked at all the videos I made last year and I checked what videos did well and what videos didn't do well at all. Sometimes we are not honest with ourselves. We admire certain creators and we want to be just like them and we create some videos which look cool we are happy to create them we think they are great we take pride in them and we think everybody else will like them but then that can get us in a big trouble that can get us in a mental depressed state when we see that the numbers are not there let's break the first habit of being blind here is a very clear visual which will make you understand exactly what to look for in your stats. And by the way, I share uh, my channel stats every month in my VIP membership area. Two videos which I created in November, a week apart. One was a vlog, easy to make video, the reset. The second video was in-depth tutorial on how to use an iPhone 13 Pro camera and camera settings. The vlog had 9.5 thousand views, brought nine new subscribers, and made only $79.62 by now on ad revenue. The first two days, the video had huge engagement, tons of likes, a lot of comments, because this video was kind of open and it was honest and it was still very good to make for con subscribers, it brought us so much closer. But then the video died out because people are not searching for the topic. It was just a one time vlog. The video is not bringing in anything anymore. The second video, the tutorial was a lot harder to make, but so far it has 186.4 thousand views, brought 3000 new subscribers 
and made $1,353.43 on ad revenue by now. That video is still being searched and will be searched for some time. So the curve is constantly going up. Was it worth to make that vlog? That video was not sponsored. It wasn't a product review. The only revenue it generated was the AdSense, which was only $79.62. It didn't even cover the amount of time I worked on that video. Let me show you one more thing. So the vlog video brought me nine new subscribers and I publish two videos a week. If I continued with that type of a content, the vlog style content, in a year, I would only gain 939 subscribers. Now, let's change the numbers. If I made these tutorials, like the iPhone, which brought me 3,000 subscribers, I would have gained 312,000 subscribers in a year. Be honest with yourself. Check your channel stats. Get to the root of the problem. Another thing which can certainly get you overwhelmed is this. So you know that you have to create multiple revenue streams because simply the income from ad revenue is not enough for a while uh, to cover all your bills. So you see other YouTubers having all the merch, digital merch, courses, coaching and all that, and you jump on it and you get buried with all the notes and you try to launch everything at the same time while you are still maintaining your YouTube channel. You still have to produce videos there. Well, I've been there. I've done all that too. The stuff I launched was not prepared well. It did not make any money for me. And some of them even made me last money. So take your time. Break that habit one step at a time. Pick a product or one service which makes sense for your niche and do it well. There are many things you can sell right from your website. You don't need to pay for extra shopping cart systems and stuff like that. Zyro, which is a sponsor of today's video, will let you sell from your website and also social media such as Facebook and Instagram and even Amazon. It has that integration. That is one of the reasons why I switched to Zyro a couple months ago. Another reason is the fact that it's the most affordable option on the market and it's very simple to use, just drag and drop style. There are hundreds of pre-design templates to choose from. You can create your own if you prefer. If you need help with anything, yes, they have 24 seven customer service and you are actually going to be talking to a person. What is important for me is that the website is loading fast. And you can create blog and customize SEO, which makes you being found in search engines. All Zyro website plans have a 30 days money back guarantee. If you change your mind, you can cancel the subscription. You will get your money back. Click the link below or use my code Zdenka to get Zyro's limited time deal. Get an exclusive discount plus a custom domain and three months free with any yearly plan. Thank you very much, Zyro, for making this video possible. I'm going to return to the last feeling when you get stuck and you don't know what videos to make next. I'm there sometimes too. We all get there. You overanalyze yourself, you start second guessing yourself, and then you get this mixture in your head when you just don't know what to create next. You're bouncing off from one idea to the other idea. You are simply last. We cannot be creative 100% all the time. It's always like this, up and down, up and down. Break that habit. For moments like these, I have a simple document on my laptop where I write possible video titles to make. I usually come up with those video titles when I'm doing something around the house or I go for a run and I get the oxygen in the brain. That's when I have a lot of ideas, a lot of creative ideas. Or when I do the channel analytics once a month and I clearly see what videos did well, which did not do well, that's when I know what kind of videos to make. So I write down all the video titles. So when I get stuck and I cannot come up with those creative videos, I open up the document and I pull up one of those titles because I know that those titles need to be made.
because those titles will do well on this channel. The worst habit to have is not knowing when to take a break because that can get you in a serious trouble, like a burnout. And I know because I've been there several times in the last few years. And then we tend to blame YouTube. We tend to blame everybody else around us. In reality, we got ourselves there and to fix it, it's all in our hands. Break that habit. This is what I do. This organizer is not for writing appointments. This organizer is for writing tasks I need to do in a day. And I don't allow myself to write more than three tasks a day, not a long list. Only the most important things I need to do. My laptop, as any other laptop, has a battery. When the battery is empty, I need to plug in the charger, I take a break. I go for a walk, I go for a run. I do something around the house since I work from home. It doesn't have to be something long, like a short break is enough. I just take the time away from the screen. The best thing is to change the scenery, get the body moving, the oxygen going, the blood circulating. When you come back and you move on to the next task, you will get that done way faster. By making these rules for myself, my productivity certainly changed. Um, it is way better now and I feel also way, way, way better. You can take something from today's video or you can leave it. It's all in your hands. It's all up to you. Wishing you best of luck. Well, give it a thumbs up if you found this video interesting and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi or ahoy, you know what to do. Leave it below. And I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.